Welcome to this session of CRM within Business One. We're going to have some interaction between the manager, the sales manager, and the sales executive. We're going to run through a transaction that triggers an alert and a workflow procedure. You see I'm logged in as the manager there, the super user. Also logged in as Sophie in this case. First thing Sophie's going to do is open up her calendar to see what she's got to work on today. She's got to contact a customer to review their budget for the year. Looks like it's Norm Thompson, a sales call. She's also got a bonding event this afternoon at 1 o'clock. I'm willing to bet that's a golf game. Sure enough, there she's going golfing there with one of her customers. Looks like we also need to, as Sophie, log in here and check out a sales call and review the previous quote and get it updated. Let's drill down on this activity and that link document that is embedded here in the application. So he rejected this sales quote already. She's talked to him on the phone. She wants to go ahead and uh, see if she can push this quote through this time based on her conversation with Fred. We'll go ahead and duplicate the quote. And uh, put a subtotal on here. Now you recall last time she offered this up, uh, Fred declined the quote. So this time what she's going to do is uh, punch in a 30% discount, which is against company policy. Watch what happens now when she tries to add this in the system. Boom, she can't do it. She stopped. She has to get approval from her manager because it's outside of our policy. We don't want Maverick transactions happening. But she pushes the envelope. She asks the manager to approve it anyway. In this case, it's saved as a draft. But let's jump back over to the manager's login and uh, see what it looks like on his side. In his alerts box, you can see the alert has just popped up here. Request for approval from Sophie for sales quote here, number 30. He can go ahead and drill down on the sales quote and see what's happening. The first thing he can do is check out the gross profit. Will he make money if she offers up this discount? I'll look at that. The top line is red, meaning that compared to our standard cost, we'll actually have a negative gross profit. Let's drill down on that item and see if we can find out what Sophie's thinking, what's going on. We can review our purchasing data on this. We can see our purchasing history, the documents that brought it into the system, into inventory. We can do the same thing on the sales side, review our sales history, do some analysis. Notice that our sales amount and gross profit have always been positive. I always had a positive gross profit, so why is Sophie trying to offer up this discount? Let's hit the inventory tab. It looks like in this general warehouse, in this bin location, we've got a bunch in stock, 152. Maybe it's okay if we, if we fire sell one because we have so many. Uh, the other thing we could do is drill down to our customer. They are one of our large accounts and their account balance is fairly low. You can see their payment terms here, $10 million. Let's go ahead and just let Sophie know it's approved uh, in this example. Fire that back over to Sophie. In her alerts box, you can see that the do document generation has uh, arrived. It's been approved. At this point, she can go ahead and drill back down. We see that it's still a draft, but it has been approved, so she can add it into the system. She can recall this document, fire it off to the customer as an email as confirmation on the special that she got the customer. All of the attachments are in report writer format, so you can adjust the look and feel, put your company's logo and, and so and touch on there. You can even make it customer specific if you like. In this case, we'll just punch in a simple subject and ask for the customer to please approve. We can send it as an email. We can send it as a fax. You can attach other documents into this order or this email. You can see that we've dropped in our logo. Again, report, report writer format so you can come in and adjust the look and feel as necessary for your customers and also on the purchasing side for your vendors. We'll fire that off to the customer. And now assuming that our customer has accepted this sales quote, we can go ahead and copy it down to a sales order. Notice how everything copies straight across. Think of the time that you'll save by not having to reduplicate, uh, re-enter that information into the sales order. Of course, you could adjust the quantities or anything if needed on the fly. Uh, but just like that, now Sophie's gone in and entered her sales order. Punch in the date and uh, get this customer squared away. It's just that easy to go into Business One and generate a sales quote follow through on a workflow and an alert procedure and uh, if you recall this all started back on Sophie's calendar think of the power of the system where we're able to go from a calendar into that workflow procedure and get our customer taken care of 
the bottom line here, we were able to eliminate Maverick transaction where there was a Maverick discount offered up, and we can apply this throughout your organization.